NASA launched Parker Solar Probe. This week starts with big news from NASA, which says its Parker Solar Probe flew through the sun's atmosphere, sampling particles and magnetic fields. As Parker flies through the corona, that's the sun's atmosphere, it makes new discoveries that were impossible to study from afar. Scientists say those discoveries about our closest star may help us better understand more distant stars and the rest of the universe. Elsewhere, Japanese billionaire fashion tycoon Yusaka Maizawa and his personal videographer Yozo Hirano started a 12-day journey aboard the International Space Station. They blasted off from the Baikonur launch facility in Kazakhstan along with cosmonaut Alexander Masurkin. The trio joined the crew of the ISS where Maizawa and Hirano became the first self-paying tourists there since 2009. The cost of the trip is unknown. Meanwhile, NASA launched its Imaging X-ray Polarimetry Explorer, or IXPE for short. IXPE's mission is to look at extreme space events to broaden human understanding of objects like neutron stars or spinning black holes. The Space Observatory carries three identical telescopes, each with dozens of mirrors, to collect and focus X-rays. IXPE's two-year mission is to observe more than 50 objects like supernovas as well as a supermassive black hole at the heart of our very own Milky Way galaxy. In other news, from a launch pad in Texas, private spaceflight company Blue Origin completed another successful launch and landing carrying more high-profile passengers. On board were American football star and broadcaster Michael Strahan and a special 74-year-old Laura Shepard Churchley. Sixty years ago, her father, Alan Shepard, became the first American in space. Shepard Churchley's roughly 10-minute flight happened aboard the new Shepard rocket that bears her father's name. Blue Origin says the flight made history as having carried the first ever parent-child duo, venture capitalist Lane Bess and his 23-year-old son Cameron. Finally this week, NASA is preparing to launch the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA expects the telescope to allow humans to see further in the cosmos than ever before, ushering in a new era in astronomy. What Webb is going to do, it's going to push beyond that, and it's going to be sensitive to galaxies that are more distant and younger that really formed closer to the start of the universe. The project faced countless setbacks and a near doubling in cost with a total price tag north of nine and a half billion dollars, but it's expected to be about 100 times more sensitive than its predecessor, the Hubble telescope. Scientists plan to use it to learn about the universe's history, dating back 13.8 billion years to just after the Big Bang. Blast off is scheduled for Christmas Eve, December 24th. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.